In this video, I'm going to show how to select, copy, cut, and paste data tables in Emacs. Emacs is a very sophisticated editor. It's been around for a long time, and I use it heavily. It's used mostly by programmers and other people like that. Future videos will probably show how to do the same in other editors and tools. But for right now, I'm just going to show the basics of doing this in Emacs. Let me show the version of Emacs I'm using. Um, this is Windows 10. Uh, it's a Windows 10 operating system and computer, and this is Emacs 27.1. We'll go to buffers, and we'll go back to my example. Now, the problem I'm concerned with is handling, cutting, and pasting typically columnar data, like a table that you might see in some article. And so, for example, here I have an example where the table is in a text document, but it's embedded in other text. So the simple normal select isn't going to allow us to select or manipulate specifically the table. So, for example, what I just did is copied the, the so I selected it. Let me just be clear on what I did. I do this, and then I hit escape or the meta key W, which is mapped to the copy. Now, if I hit control Y or yank, I get an exact copy, but I don't want this as a test. I don't want random text on the other side. Instead, I only want the actual data, the actual table and the header for the columns. So how can I do this? Okay, I hit escape X or meta X. Sometimes the key is different on my computer. This is a Windows keyboard and this is the escape key, which maps to the meta key in Emacs. So I turn on something called Rectangle Mark Mode. Do it there. Notice what is happening here is I'm selecting again. I'm starting from where I was, but now, see, I select a rectangle. This can be uh, described in, in some documentation as selecting a rectangular region or a rectangle in a document or selecting columns. Okay, so now I will hit the Escape key on the Windows keyboard and W. The Escape key is mapped to the Emacs Meta key. And now I will hit Control Y for yank. Um, okay, actually, let me undo that. Didn't do exactly what I wanted to do, so let me show. We'll undo a couple. Okay, so let me do this like so. There we go. So we got incorrectly munched together, but this is what we want to see right here. Notice I only got this rectangle and nothing else. So let me do it again just to see again. So it's still in the buffer, and I hit that, and I've got that. Now you can actually see in more detail what's going on in this table by switching to white space mode, which allows us to tell um, how the table's put together. So this is indicating that these columns are delimited by spaces rather than tabs. So one of the things the rectangle mode can be useful for is handling uh, column data in which there are tabs. So, so far what I've shown you, and let me turn off the white space mode now. So far what I've shown you is cutting and pasting or copying with explicitly giving the command. So again, let me just to show this again. Rectangle mark mode, I can go here, I select this, and again I've selected a rectangular region and now I can do Control W, which will delete that rectangular region. So that's the cut as opposed to the, and I can get it back by doing this. So I'm manipulating rectangles or columns of data rather than lines, which is the default. So let me just review what I did there one more time. So I do Escape X, Rectangle, Mark, Mode. And now it's switched into this mode where it's selecting, but it's not selecting the normal way, it's selecting columns. So I can select a rectangular region, such as a table, and then I can, in fact, copy it again. I'll do Escape W, which is the copy, and um, for fun, let's see what happens if we do that. Yeah, see, it's actually cutting and pasting it on top of the other guy. So let me, let me um, put that back and then create some more spaces for me to play around in. So it went right over the other table, which, okay, so let's go in here. And now I hit Control Y for yank, and that table gets inserted right here. As you saw, it will actually write over uh, the rectangular region in other lines, so you have to be careful with that. 
So this allows us to manipulate. This is a very simple table where we have a date and some value. It could be the price of a product. It could be temperature. It could be any of a wide variety of um, stock prices, for example. Wide variety of possible values. Well, let's take another look at this. We can also do this with a hotkey. So if we do, and this is, should be in most Emacs's, we hit Control X space, and there it is again. So instead of typing out rectangle mark mode, we do Control X space. And again, I'm going to do Escape W, and I'm going to stick it in here. I have a little bit of fun. Actually, let me make sure there's a little bit more room just in case. Control Y to yank, and I've now pasted it here. So it worked again. So let me show that again. And I'll have a little bit of fun by starting a little bit before the column. And I'll do Control X space bar. And again, it's shifted into the rectangle mark mode. And I can select this. I do Escape key W. That's copied it. And now let me, again, create a region where I can paste it as I like. I'll go way over here for fun. And I'll yank it. Control Y for yank. And again, I got the copy. So that's the essence of how this is done. This rectangle mode or rectangle feature in Emacs is quite extensive and goes far beyond what I've just shown. It's just a very simple example. And there's online documentation at this URL right here. So let me go there. You can see here's the URL from GNU. Rectangle commands operate on rectangular areas of the text, all the characters between a certain pair of columns in a certain range of lines. Emacs has commands to kill rectangles, yank killed rectangles, clear them out, fill them with blanks or text, or delete them. Rectangle commands are useful with text in multi-column formats and for changing text into or out of such formats. And you can see there are predefined hotkey sequences for many different operations that you can perform. And this uh, page here provides a much more in-depth description of the rectangles that I'm going to show in the video. But if you need to learn more, you want to learn more to do this, then use the rectangle mark mode. And you can read the documentation here at the GNU organization. In addition to being called selecting rectangles, this kind of functionality is also sometimes referred to as selecting, cutting, and pasting columns. This concludes this video presentation. If you like this video, please click like. Please click subscribe and the notification bell if you would like to receive more content from us. You can avoid internet censorship by subscribing directly to our RSS news feed. Please consider sharing the link by email and on your website or blog, in addition to liking, upvoting, or sharing on increasingly censored, advertising beholden, big company social media. We have encountered such censorship. Mathematical software is developing algorithms and software to automate data analysis, reducing the risks of costly errors and increasing the predictive power of the results. You can support our work financially by subscribing on our Patreon page, https colon slash slash www.patreon.com slash mathsoft, or scanning the QR code in the lower right corner.